are ready for your dinner. Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and um, I have a filter on because I don't have any makeup on. And I just wanted to come on and jump on and do this really quick live video for you. Um, so, uh, if you follow me at all, you know that I feed Kim a raw food diet. Kim is my dog. Um, and this is her dinner tonight. So I'm going to show you. So what we've got here, um, the liquid in the bottom is Answers Raw Goat's Milk, um, which is one of the most amazing products you will ever find. Um, and then this, all this meat on top, this is um, the Answers Beef uh, Grind. This is a, a patty. So this is a, a a partial portion of a patty that I've just broken up with my hands. And then you can't really see it, but right in the middle there, I have a little squirt of um, probably about, probably about half a teaspoon of hemp oil. So I have, Kim is getting a little impatient with me because I fixed her plate about 30 minutes ago. Um, and this is probably a little bit controversial with some people, but, um, I've watched a bunch of videos. I love Answers Pet Food and I love Billy Hochman and um, who is their nutrition director. Director. He does a lot of Q&As. Um, and so the raw goat's milk and um, their meats, their, their, their meat blends, their, their raw food blends, uh, are, the raw food blends are fermented. And then the raw goat's milk, they um are designed to benefit your dog the most because they especially with that, that fermentation process that they use in creating their um, meat grinds they um have a minimal amount of the bad bacteria that you don't necessarily want though you need a little bit of because if you never are introduced if you never introduce bad bacteria is into your body, and I don't mean, you know, a ton of them, but a little bit of them, then you're never going to have any sort of, um, for lack of a better word, immunity to them. It's like letting your kids play in the dirt, right? When they're little, obviously, you're going to let them go out and play in the dirt because if they're never exposed to anything, then everything is going to make them sick. So, but with the fermentation process, you get an abundance of the good bacteria that your uh, your dog's gut needs. So they need that good bacteria in their gut. And the fermentation process in their meat grinds does that. And uh, from watching uh, Billy Hochman answer, uh, answer questions for Answers Pet Food, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm not funny. Anyway, <laughs> um, leaving the food out on the counter for a little while for it to get um, more, you know, closer to room temperature is actually going to increase the amount of that good bacteria building in the food. So that's the best thing we can do for our animals is to feed their gut, feed their body and feed their gut. Um, because the, the, the microbiome inside of your dog's digestive system is complex and crucial. Um, for them to thrive. So um, I, I started, I made her plate about half an hour ago and I let it sit down on the counter for a little while um, for two reasons. One that I just told you, um, because I'm feeding Answers Pet Food, I'm feeding the raw goat's milk and, and the raw um, beef tonight, she's having beef. Um, the good bacteria are flourishing and multiplying in the food as I let it sit out and get to room temperature. And sorry, I just dropped a um, napkin. And two, Dr. Judy Morgan, um, who is a very well-known uh, holistic veterinarian, um, she did a Facebook Live one day that I watched and she said, that feeding cold these cold temperature foods now she's also really big into different foods um in in 
uh, like Chinese medicine foods have a cold or, or a warm temperature to them. Some of them have a neutral temperature to them. And that's not necessarily the temperature that you and I think of um, being like cold or hot to the touch. Um, but in Chinese medicine, they have cooling or heating effects in the body. But um, she was specifically talking about the actual temperature of the food, like to the touch. And feeding an animal uh, cold food right out of the fridge or the freezer, um, which I, I have never fed directly out of the freezer, and I, I'm sure some people have, especially with like raw meaty bones. Um, but directly out of the fridge, the, the actual physical temperature of that food is in conflict with your dog's physiology. Um, and if I remember correctly, she was specifically talking about, it was either the digestive system or, or, the, or the immune system, and I, and I wanna say it's the immune system. So the, 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 the actual physical temperature, the, the coldness, <laughs> um, for lack of a better word, of the food is in um, kind of disagreements with the body physiology. So I want to let the food get a little bit closer to, to room temperature. And I know a lot of people who do feed raw or um, a lot of people out there who are just fear mongers and want to say, oh, you should never feed raw to your dog. Um, they they want to uh, attack and say, well, um, you know, if if you let this food sit out on the counter, they're gonna get, get all this bad bacteria and salmonella is gonna brew and all this other stuff. Well, your dog and cat, um, their digestive system is designed to handle a certain amount of bacteria, um, even the bad bacteria. It's designed to handle a certain amount of it. I have absolutely no fears, especially with feeding Answers Pet Food, that my dog is going to get sick because I let her food get closer to room temperature. Um, and I'm, oh, I almost forgot. So I add the hemp oil uh, because my dog doesn't like sardines. Um, I was looking for a good source of biotin and hemp oil has a really good ratio I and mean, it has the biotin that I'm looking for. And it also has the um, optimal ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s um, that she needs. And granted, I'm feeding her a fully balanced raw diet from Answers Pet Food tonight. Um, however, just in our experience, I, you know, my husband and I feel that she needs a little bit of a boost in biotin and omega-3s and omega-6 fatty acids um, uh, for her nails. So I added just a little bit of that, that's why. But um, I really wanted to talk to you guys about the temperature of the food because um, not everybody knows it and there's plenty of information out there. Check out Answers Pet Food and check out Dr. Judy Morgan. There are so many others. Um, in the, in the field, in the industry, um, who can provide a lot of other great advice, but just start doing some research on your own, especially um, if you're not currently feeding a raw food diet. Uh, we definitely wanna get your dog on the, to, we wanna get as much whole fresh foods into your dog as we possibly can so that they thrive and not just survive. Um, so yeah, I talk about um, this in my new ebook, seven miracle steps to train your dog. And I don't have my little card with me right now. Sorry, this was kind of an impromptu video. Um, but I talk about feeding your dog um, to to thrive and not just survive. And, and part of that is because it affects their brain. Um, so let's get as much fresh food into their bowls as we possibly can. If you're already feeding a raw food diet, let me know. Um, and if you're interested in feeding a raw food diet, let me know that too. You can post in the comments. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video and feed Kim because she is laying down now. She said, you're done. Um, you're talking too much. <laughs> so let me go ahead and feed her her meal, and I will see you guys in the next video.